Governor Matt Bevin says the time for political bluffing is over. He says negotiations need to start now because there are only two days left in the legislative session. The Senate and the House have been deadlocked in a disagreement over the state's spending plan for the next two years. The Republican-led Senate wants to keep Bevin's proposed budget cuts, while the Democrat-controlled House is trying to scrap them. The House says they are willing to compromise by backing off their position that would take money away from the governor's proposal to put money into the state's retirement fund and the permanent fund. However, the House says they still will not allow their proposed cuts for education. The Senate maintains that the cuts are necessary because the state is saddled with billions in pension debt. As lawmakers continue to butt heads over the cuts, the battle lines for the budget have been drawn around House Speaker Greg Stumbo and the governor. Getting reelected should not be the number one driver behind decisions that are made in this town. They shouldn't be. We were sent here to do the will of the people. We were sent here in this session specifically to pass a budget. Passing a budget is what we should do. You know, if he quit doing silly videos and pick up the telephone and call and try to work something out, it might be more productive. Bevin says he will not give up his veto power and he does not want to call a costly special session. With only two days left until the end of the legislative session, some lawmakers are wondering whether they will come to an agreement on the budget before their April 15th deadline. In Frankfurt, Mark Barber, WKYT. And while GOP leaders have not specified what concessions they are willing to make, the governor says everything is on the table.